Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today we have another addition to the fleet. And yes, the fleet is growing this year. We have the Axial Capra. Um, and this is the four wheel drive steering, or forward, no, four wheel steer my version. Uh, let's see what's in the box a bit here. Um, it has basically all the links are aluminum on it. Steering links, uh, hopper and lower link, all aluminum. Or steel, should I say. Uh, twin servos, uh, I think it's 13 kilogram per servo. All the uh, axial, put the axial, maybe um, metal aluminum, metal universal joints. Uh, basically the axles. Uh, steel gears in the transmission. It is a uh, portal. Again, all steel gears in the portals. And it does have a light bar and some lights in the front. It does have the Spectrum Smart 40 amp ESC all in one combo. It comes with the DX3. It is a three channel. In this case, we need a third channel to be able to control the rear steer and it is part of the smart technology. Let's open this box and see what's inside. I already opened it. There we go, right here. It does offer two colors. Uh, there's a black and the other one's kind of a reddish orange. First thing, opening the box, you're greeted with a remote that falls on you. Like I said, this is the DX3. With the... Uh, one-handed drive. Basically, you have your throttle and there's a lever on the side to be able to use your steering. That is fun sometimes. You need to do a couple of things on the, in the trails. But let's take this guy out. You have your manual. If you're new to the hobby, please take time to read this. Uh, in the, with the manual comes with uh, some tools, x nut to remove your wheels, uh, batteries for the remote, and basically some shock parts and some more servo horns for the servos. And there you go, you have the vehicle itself. <clears throat> nice vehicle. It is a, a 110 scale. It doesn't look like a 110. I put a 110 beside it and you're going to say, wow, this is smaller. But it is a 110. Uh, and yeah, uh, basically, basically the battery goes in front compartment here. You have two body clips on each side. You need to remove to be able to open the hood. I'll take the vehicle closer to you guys. And here you have the vehicle. This is the back. Like I said, rear servo horn, uh, servo for the rear steer. Have your front, 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 woo, front. Your front again with a servo. And like I said, all the links are all metal. That I do like. Front light bar. And these guys here light up too. Aluminum shocks, adjustable 100%. The wheels are beadlock. Basically, you have some uh, some screws in the back here. You need to you need to remove, and you can dismantle and change your tires on. And if we look underneath, like I said, every link are metal. Now the drive shafts are plastic. This is something you might need to look into to changing in your future, depending how you use it. Now, like I said, where you put your batteries, it is in the front. <clears throat> when you open it, it fits right here. It's like at 2200 or even an 1800 that will fit in here. Now, if you grab this vehicle, uh, I would recommend maybe grabbing two yourself, two batteries, maybe two 1800 or two 2200. Uh, it will take it up to a two cell. I'm not sure if it takes a three cell. 
I would need to check. But I'm almost ready to say it might. I don't remember. Where are you? Let's find out. The easiest way is read. It's to read it that they don't say. But I would say a two cell, you're, you're going to have more than fun with this vehicle here on a two cell. And like I said to you, four wheels there, you can go crabbing, uh, go sideways. Now I do have another vehicle that's part of the fleet that I did not do a, a series of build on it or a video on it yet. Uh, it will come. It's an older vehicle. It's, uh, I would say, close to 10 years old. Um, and yes, you will see it. Heavily modified. Can't wait to show you guys. But then in the meantime, we have the Axial Capra here. The Curie Enterprise race line from Axial. I got four wheels there. Worth it. If you want to grab yourself a smaller vehicle, that you're gonna have a lot of fun and a lot of articulation. It's close to it's like five to six inches. This is awesome. And go have fun in the trails. This would be one of the vehicles I would recommend, no problem. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below, I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I do appreciate it a lot and it does help the channel. Thank you for watching. Let's go have fun.